Hi, welcome back to Rock Shovels and Manuscripts. My name is Steve Shermet, and I've been taking you on a virtual tour of Jerusalem. Usually we look at the Bible and archaeology, and that's what we're doing, but I've also been showing you some snippets of modern Jewish and Arab culture as well. On a previous episode, I was walking you through the new city of Jerusalem, the old city of Jerusalem, by the eastern wall of the old city, by the eastern gate. I showed you the Mount of Olives, the Kidron Valley, and I told you we were heading over to King David's palace. So we're now at the foot of King David's palace, and I'm gonna show you another view of the Mount of Olives in the Kidron Valley. And this is a, a special view because it was after a, a lot of rain and there's a lot of green grass. Usually, you know, Israel is very desert-like and it's usually just brown. So this view is, is especially unique. So take a look at your screen. Let me show you what I got going here. As I pan to the right here, we're looking at the Arab village of Silwan. Um, it sounds like the word Siloam, as in the Pool of Siloam, it's the same word. Off to the right there is the Valley of Hinnom. So what you saw was a view of the Mount of Olives, the far right side of it or the southern side of it, panning over to the south through the Kidron Valley into Silwan. The place I'm standing right now, when I took that footage for you, is the bottom of the glacis, I'll explain in a moment, that King David's city and palace sat upon. When you've seen old war movies, you've probably seen a castle. Some of them might have had a slanted wall leading up to the castle. That's the glacis. It's not only a support structure for what's built on top of it, but it's extremely hard to attack. And I'm gonna show you what remains of it. Let's take a look. That's the top, and we're looking now down towards the bottom. The whole thing has not been excavated. This is just a piece to show you what it would have looked like. And though I've never read or learned it anywhere, I'm almost certain this had to have been plastered over so there wouldn't have been any handholds and footholds. It would have been smooth going up. That's what I a believe. close up. Let's take a look. I wanted you to get an idea of some of the height of this. And on top of that would have been the palace and all the rest of the city of David. And this is all that's been excavated. Whether they'll excavate more or not, I don't know. What remains, what hasn't been destroyed, I don't know. GLC invites you to visit us on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash GLC TV. Here you can stay in touch with all of the latest GLC news along with daily scriptural inspirations, current specials in our bookstore, links to our newest shows, and online media plus articles from trusted sources. Feel free to drop us a message or a question by posting to our page. Please help us out and like our page by clicking on the thumbs up button. Don't delay. Drop by the GLC Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash GLC TV. We want to interact with you today.